friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you graded index fiber its structure working and advantages so before i discuss graded index fiber i will give just introduction of optical fiber optical fiber is basically a dielectric waveguide that operate in particular optical frequency it is used for transmitting information over a long distance or we can say that optical fiber is a glass or plastic hollow pipe very thin just like in human hair and in optical fiber information transmit in the form of light and follow the principle of total internal reflection here we see in the diagram the center region showing green color is called core the outer region showing blue color is called cladding the light enter into the fiber and propagate down the core by follow the principle of total internal reflection at the side wall of the core it means at the core cladding interface it make a zigzag path and propagate down the fiber now classification of optical fiber optical fiber are basically three classification based on their refractive index profile based on their transmission mode and based on their material used in manufacturing so first classification is based on their refractive index profile there are two type of fiber step index fiber and graded index fiber in this video i will explain graded index fiber in detail in my previous video i have already explained step index fiber so if you want to learn step index fiber so please refer my previous video i will give the link of step index fiber in my description box now what is graded index fiber so before i discuss graded index fiber you must know what is refractive index profile refractive index profile of a particular fiber is a graphical representation of refractive index magnitude of that particular fiber refractive index profile it means a graphical representation of refractive index magnitude of a particular fiber so with the help of refractive index profile we identify the fiber is step index fiber or graded index fiber single mode fiber or multi mode fiber now graded index fiber here the definition is graded index fiber the refractive index of core is not constant non uniform it varies smoothly godly continuously over the diameter of the core but the refractive index of cladding is constant and is smaller than refractive index of core here we see in the diagram or here i explain graded index fiber with the help of this diagram at the right hand side this is graded index optical fiber left hand side this is the refractive index profile of that particular fiber the center region of the fiber is called core the outer region is called cladding the refractive index of core is always greater than the refractive index of cladding so here in graded index fiber the refractive index of core is greater than refractive index of cladding but when we see the refractive index profile of the fiber we can say that the refractive index of core is not constant it continuously varying smoothly from the center of the fiber towards its core cladding interface over the diameter of the fiber but at the center of the fiber the refractive index is highest when we go toward core cladding interface the refractive index is decreasing continuously but every point the refractive index of core is greater than the refractive index of cladding this is the magnitude of refractive index of cladding which is constant so here n1 show the refractive index of core which is non uniform not constant continuously varying n2 show the refractive index of cladding which is constant uniform throughout the cladding nr is the refractive index profile of that particular fiber r is the radial distance from the center of the fiber a is the radius of the core so this is graded index fiber in graded index fiber one point is noticeable that in graded index fiber the light propagate smoothly within the fiber core not sharply now 
with the help of another example i will explain gradient index fiber here right hand side this is gradient index fiber and left hand side this the refractive index profile of this particular fiber here we see in the core number of gray strip are there the dark gray strip show the higher refractive index medium and the lighter gray strip show the lower refractive index medium it means at the center of the fiber the refractive index is highest because the gray color of the strip is dark whenever we go toward the core cladding interface the gray color of the strip become lighter and the refractive index become decreasing it means in graded index fiber the core is made up of variety of refractive index profile material the center region having highest refractive index the core cladding interface region is made up of lower refractive index but every point the refractive index is varying at cladding the refractive index is constant but smaller than the refractive index of core in graded index fiber the higher order mode travel faster as compared to lower order modes but the light ray propagate smoothly throughout the fiber now mathematical representation of graded index fiber this is the mathematical representation of graded index fiber and as show the refractive index profile where n1 root of 1 minus 2 delta r by a ki whole power alpha this represents the refractive index of core because the refractive index of core is continuously varying changing non uniform so we calculate the refractive index of core with the help of this formula it's depend on many factors delta r a and alpha so with the help of this formula we get the refractive index of core inside the core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding which is constant so what is a what is alpha what is r a is the radius of the core delta is the relative refractive index difference it means the core is made up of variety of refractive index materials so the refractive index difference between two material is not greater than 1 that show by delta De the value of delta is smaller smaller than 1 so to calculate delta the formula is delta equal to n1 minus n2 divided by n1 where n1 is the refractive index of one material and n2 is the refractive index of another material here alpha is the profile parameter that show the characteristic of refractive index profile r is the radial distance from the center of the fiber i have already explained n1 and n2 are the refractive index of core and cladding respectively now the numerical aperture of gradient index fiber what is numerical aperture numerical aperture define the light gathering power of the fiber it means how much light a fiber can gather or keep within the core this is defined by numerical aperture normally numerical aperture is given by root of n1 square minus n2 square where n1 is the refractive index of core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding but here the numerical aperture is given by root of n square r minus n2 square n square r show the refractive index of core because the refractive index of core is different different is varying from the center of the fiber towards its radial distance that's why the value of refractive index is different minus n2 square n2 is the refractive index of cladding which is constant here we put n square r the value nr given here n1 root of 1 minus 2 delta r by a e power alpha put here and when we solve this equation we get final formula n1 root 2 delta 1 minus r by a e power 2 here a is radius of the core delta is relative refractive index difference which is calculated by this formula delta equal to n1 minus n2 divided by n1 alpha is the profile parameter i will explain later in this video r is the radial distance from the center of the fiber n1 and n2 are the refractive index of core and cladding respectively
Now we are talking about alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is basically a profile parameter that decide the refractive index profile of a graded index fiber. There are different values of alpha or according to the value of alpha, the shape of refractive index profile of core is different, different. This is the refractive index particular graded index fiber. A minus to A is the diameter of the core. R is the radial distance from the center axis of the core. N2 is the refractive index of cladding which is constant. N1 is the refractive index of core which is continuously varying and NR is the refractive index profile. Here for different value of alpha there are different refractive index profile of the fiber at alpha equal to 1 which is given by blue dotted line. The refractive index of core is triangular shape. The refractive index at center of the fiber is highest and when we go toward the core cladding interface it's it's start decreasing suddenly and make a triangular shape for alpha equal to 2 which is given by solid red line the refractive index profile of a graded index fiber is parabolic shape parabolic means at alpha equal to 2 there is a small flat portion at the center of the fiber and start decreasing slowly towards core cladding interface so that make a parabolic refractive index profile profile at alpha equal to 2 this is best profile for graded index fiber in which large number of mode propagate within the fiber at alpha equal to 10 the flat portion at the top of the fiber is flat again more flat at alpha equal to infinite, this top portion is totally flat. It means at alpha equal to infinite, a graded index fiber is behave like a step index fiber. So, this is profile parameter alpha. Now, propagation of light in graded index fiber. Here we see in the diagram, the center region is called core and the outer region is called cladding. The refractive index of cladding is constant and the refractive index of core is continuously varying from center of the fiber toward core cladding interface. At the center, the refractive index is highest and when we go toward core cladding interface, the refractive index go down. So, here this is this layer refractive index is N1, this is N2, N3, N4, N5, N6. N1 is greater than N2, N2 is greater than N3, N3 is greater than N4, N4 is greater than N5 and N5 is greater than N6. So, when light enter into the fiber, the light ray become refract at the various highest to lower refractive index within the graded index fiber core. So, every time the light get refracted, the angle of incident of next medium is increases a point come where the angle of incident is greater than critical angle. Here the total internal reflection is occur and the light ray bend. So the light become refracted so many times and make a curve. So this is the phenomena of a propagation of light in gradient index fiber. The light refract from various low to high index interface within the gradient index fiber and follow a curve path and propagate down the fiber. Now characteristic of gradient index fiber. In gradient index fiber, the refractive index of core is not constant, is continuously varying from the center of the fiber towards its core cladding interface and larger than the refractive index of cladding. The diameter of the multi-mode gradient index fiber is about 50 microns and more. The light propagation in gradient index fiber is said to be skew rays. Bandwidth of uh, gradient index fiber is 200 megahertz per kilometer to 600 megahertz per kilometer. Multi-mode gradient index fiber having less intermodal dispersion than multi-mode step index fiber due to their refractive index profile. Gradient index fiber having less numerical aperture as compared to step index fiber. Now, how many number of modes traveling in a graded index fiber? So, the number of mode traveling in a graded index fiber is depend upon V number and the value of alpha, which is given by this formula. M equal to alpha by alpha plus 2 V square by 2.
where for different value of alpha we calculate this formula so for alpha equal to 2 here we calculate the value of number of mode propagate in fiber that is given by m or n where n equal to v square by 4 so the number of modes is depend upon two value the value of alpha and the value of v number so what is v number v number is the normalized frequency parameter that determine how many number of modes support by a fiber which is given by v equal to pi d by lambda n a this is a formula of to calculate the v number where d is the diameter of the core lambda is the wavelength of the light use n a is the numerical aperture of the fiber so for grid index fiber here we calculate n a with the help of the formula i previously told you so Finally, the value of V is V equal to pi D by lambda root of N1 square minus N2 square. Numerical aperture formula is for step index fiber. For grid index fiber, here we use the formula I have already discussed. So, by this we calculate V number. If the value of V is smaller than or equal to 2.405, this is a single mode fiber. If V greater than 2.405, it is a multi-mode fiber. Now, advantages and disadvantages of grid index fiber. First, advantages of grid index fiber. It can transmit a large amount of information. In grid index fiber, distortion is less as compared to step index fiber. Grid index fiber transmit information efficiently and less dispersion as compared to step index fiber. Disadvantages of grid index fiber. Grid index fiber having less light coupling efficiency and grid index fiber is expensive as compared to step index fiber. So guys, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please like, subscribe and share my channel.